Hello everybody, it's Morgan again, and today I'm going to be showing us how to create our character using the online website sketchpad.io. I hope in part one you were able to get a little practice time in using this website. Okay, here we go. I'm actually going to be showing us first how to upload an image that I've already created on a piece of paper. I took a picture of this image and I saved it to my computer. So what I'm going to do first is click on the clip art option. You'll then go to load your own image. I've saved my alien creature that I'm going to create into a character on my desktop. I'm going to click on the image and open my file. Now you'll see that my alien is quite large on my paper here. So what I'm going to do is use my select tool and I'm going to make my alien just a little bit smaller so it's easier to see on my page. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to be using some of those same tools that we used in part one to draw over the top of my alien. I'm going to click on my toolbar again. Right now my paintbrush is set up. I'm actually going to switch that over to my pencil. I'm also going to go ahead and change my outline color. And I'm gonna change that back to black. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to be tracing right over the top of my alien. So as best I can with the control of my mouse, I'm gonna go ahead and start to trace over my alien. It's okay if our lines aren't perfect, we're creating an imaginary character. So all I'm doing is tracing over those lines. If I make a mistake like I just did here, on my keypad, I can press Control Z and it will get rid of the last action that I just did. So if you don't want a line or a certain area, Control Z on your keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to continue to add the details to my alien. It's little antennas here. Remember, you can come up with your own creature, your own character. Got funny little ears on the side. I'm gonna draw right over the top of that. Remember, you could also use your pen feature for this area as well to create some of those contour lines but I'm gonna just create an outline using my pencil. One thing you'll definitely wanna make sure to do is to connect all of your lines. You'll see in just a moment here why that is going to be so important. Okay, oh, I have one more area that I need to go through and that's his mouth here. Okay, now that I have the outline of my character, I'm going to introduce you to layers. I'm gonna click on, on the left-hand side where it looks like a stack of paper. Those are the layers. So you'll see all of my pencil lines that I've created on my character. The first thing that we did is created our clip art. So we uploaded our character image. I'm gonna actually click on the clip art option. You'll see the three little dots here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm actually going to delete that area. So now you'll see that I'm just left with my character. Now I'm noticing some areas that I need to go back into right here, like his ear. It needs to be connected to those shapes. So I'm gonna uh, take my pencil again, and I'm just going to connect those areas. Okay, our next step is to add some color. On part one, I showed us how to use our paintbrush. You're welcome to use that feature as well. But I also wanna show us our vector fill. So if I click on the left-hand side here where my paint bucket is, remember I can change my color as well. So I'm gonna give my alien, ooh, he's gonna be kind of a green color in some of these areas here. Under vector fill, I'm actually gonna click that because I wanna fill in areas of pixels. I'm gonna click on pixel fill and you just switch that color again because I was on vector. Okay, so my pixel fill, I'm going to be filling in with this green color. So if I click an area inside of my outline here, I can actually add color. 
That's why it's so important for you to connect those lines. Otherwise, if those lines are connected, you're actually going to end up painting your whole background area. So I can go ahead and start to add color into those other areas, picking up my color, and there we go. So I highly encourage you to come up with your own creative character. Now, our very last step today is going to be to figure out how to save our document because we are going to actually use this character in future projects. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is click on the floppy disk icon. That's going to be my save or my export. When I click on the floppy disk here, I can click save on top. There's some other options here to save it in different formats, but to make it easy for us, we're gonna click save. The most common file form for a picture is going to be a JPEG. So we can click on JPEG. This will also save it as an image file as well. But I'm gonna click on JPEG. I'm gonna keep everything exactly the same and I'm gonna click download. Okay, that's going to download to my computer and depending on what kind of computer you're working on, we can always go to show in folder and see where that went to. Typically, it's going to go to a downloads folder. Then I can find it in my downloads and I can also rename it. So I'm going to rename mine Alien 2, my character. Keep that document in a safe spot because we'll return to that for future projects. Once again, my name is Morgan with AWE and happy art creating. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.